Well, the big day has finally arrived. My brand spanking new Beta 60 has just been delivered. If you've been following the vlogs for a while, you'll know that back in vlog 70, I did a comparison between Yanmar versus Beta. And I gave you the re rationale why I chose the Beta 60. So if you're interested, go back and take a look at that vlog. Here you see the Beta 60 and all the pertinent information on it. With that said, let's go in and see what's going on. The motor was delivered while I was away. So Costa, the owner here at the Walden's Marina, uh, unloaded it and stored it here inside to keep it out of the weather elements. It comes loaded on a pallet and all neatly tied up just the way you see it here. So. Just like you, I can't wait to open this up and see what's going on. This is going to be probably the biggest unboxing we've ever done on the channel. The very first thing we need to do is cut the shipping straps and take off these four big lag bolts used to hold on the heavy cardboard container. With that done, here it is, the opening of the big box. With the lid off, this is what you see at the very beginning. Like that new car smell, I gotta admit, there's nothing like that new motor smell. She looks really beautiful. So here we are walking around the sort of left-hand side facing the front here. You can see the injectors, the air filter. That box, two boxes in the back there, they contain uh, motor mounts, gauges, and all the paperwork. Now, moving from the front to the other side of the motor, here you can see the 120 amp alternator, which is an option, and for the little bit of money it costs, I'd highly recommend that. Down below there you see the starter, and then up above is the heat exchanger. Now, here towards the back, I also got the option of the high-rise uh, water lift, which you see here, and then once again in the back, you see the boxes containing the manuals and motor mounts. When you get your new engine up on top you're going to find that it has two tags. Here we see the Beta Marine tag that it gives you uh, all of their pertinent information, engine type, engine number, uh, output, month and year that they finish their manufacturing project. I believe that the K42902 is the model number uh, if I'm wrong, somebody go ahead and hit, shoot me a comment and I'll put out a correction, but I believe this is the uh, number that you would use to look up uh, Beta Marine parts on. Then at the other engine, here you'll see the uh, Kubota information, the uh, engine type, family, um, and their pertinent part numbers. These numbers here will be helpful most likely in getting uh, direct replacement Kubota parts for any part of the motor that was not marinized by uh, uh, Beta themselves. So if you're outside of the United States or you've got a local Kubota dealer like I do, this would be probably very useful for you. Now if you notice on the pallet there's uh, two separate boxes. Here we see one box which contains the four stock uh, motor mounts which you can see here. The other box this contains all of your goodies. It's got your paperwork, manuals, certification sheets, things like that. It has your uh, wiring harness that goes from the motor to the uh, instrument panel. And yes, of course, the instrument panel itself. Now, I ordered the upgraded uh, instrument panel, uh, which you see here. So it's really, really quite nice panel. And finally, here you see the uh, installation operator and manual provided by Beta. Well, that's it for this week's vlog. We hope you enjoyed it and found it informational. This is the start of the fourth season, and we have one goal here at the channel. As usual, that's to grow and grow and grow. So if this is your first time watching. Go ahead and click that subscription button. Hit that bell icon. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook. We'd like to add 100 people this year watching the channel. So go ahead and click that subscription button. As always, peace and fair winds.